we dreaming the dream of ignorance? We need to wake up. It sounds like something very far, very distant, like looking when you're on the plains at the Himalayan mountains. But actually, it's so close that they say it's like the eye, the eyes, you know, cannot see the eyelashes because it's too close. Our innate primordial unborn awareness is like the sky. The sky is up there, vast and blue. It gets covered by clouds. There are also rainbows. There are also lightning and thunder. But there could not be any clouds or rainbows if there was not the sky. The sky is everywhere. The sky is all pervading. You cannot catch the sky and say, this is my piece of sky. And sometimes we wake up and then we fall back to sleep. But it's important because even though we fall back to sleep, we have that memory that, you know, of the awakened state, even if it only lasts for a, a finger snap. It's very important that we actually believe, believe, not just because we've read it or because our gurus told us or because it's a nice idea, but because we ourselves have actually experienced that that is true. That's like getting a real foothold on the path because one has the confidence then the faith based on our own experience that this is true. This is the truth. We are not who we think we are. And neither is anyone else. We are all Buddhas in embryo.